Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to walk you through the process of canceling your MailChimp subscription. Whether you're no longer using the service or just need a break, we got you covered. With the action you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to miss out on our latest adventures. And I'll keep you on the loop for future content. And to our returning viewers, welcome back and we appreciate y'all for your ongoing support and could not wait to embark on another MailChimp journey. Alright, let's get right into it. Um, Canceling a MailChimp subscription can have, you know, plenty of advantages depending on your specific needs and circumstances. Okay, if you are no longer actively using MailChimp's um, services, canceling your subscription can obviously save you money. You won't be billed for features and services you're not using, right? And while canceling your subscription provides uh, you with the flexibility to explore other email marketing platforms or solutions, um, it may be better to suit your current needs or budget. And many uh, MailChimp subscription plans require a commitment period. Canceling your subscription allows you to end the, uh, the commitment and avoid future billing, right? So if you're no longer sending email campaigns or newsletters, canceling is a no-brainer. It can also help prevent unnecessary emails or updates from MailChimp. And also, uh, it provides an opportunity to step back and reevaluate your email marketing strategy. You can assess whether email marketing is still a valuable channel for your business or organization. And for businesses and organizations with um, tight budgets, we have to be honest, canceling an underutilized subscription can help reduce overhead costs and allocate resources more efficiently. Okay, also, um, to be frankly honest, canceling MailChimp allows you to explore other ma email marketing platforms or marketing automation tools that may offer different features, or pricings, or capabilities depending on the needs of your business or, or organizations. Like some users may experience dissatisfaction with MailChimp's customer support. So, canceling your subscription can relieve you of further interactions with their support team if that's a concern. Also, you may choose your to cancel your subscription um, temporarily while well, you know, your business is undergoing changes or restructuring phase. That way, you can reactivate your subscription when you're ready to resume email marketing. Also, I just wanted to point out that it's essential to consider your specific circumstances and needs when deciding whether to cancel your MailChimp subscription, right? So make sure to review MailChimp's um, cancellation policies, including any uh, cancellation fees or terms associated with your subscription plan. Now, if you don't have a MailChimp account yet, please create one. It's fast, easy, and super simple. Once you all you created your account, log in with your credentials. All, all I gotta do is go here to the to your account and billing. Once you are in account and billing, um, since this is a free plan, we we can't like see the the cancellation option here. But when you go here, billing information, all I gotta do is just click cancel and that's it additionally you have a plan in place for managing your email lists and campaigns if you decide to cancel your subscription to ensure a smooth transaction just click just click cancel here in the billing information it's, it's it seems it's free so we don't have the option for that all right so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one